YouTube, thanks for giving me your time, making on my video, I promised you guys I was going to try to step it up for you here on my videos, so I think this is great because this is history, and I pulled it out of the earth with my helper yesterday, my partner in life and I went digging, and we had a phenomenal day, so it all started, she was over there being real quiet, so I knew something was going on, she wasn't leaving her spot, we were digging, I found one blue cat eye earlier, and she comes over with this, and she says, Hey, this one's real heavy. I'm like, oh my god, babe, that's a musket ball. That is Harper's Ferry Bucking Ball. 0.69 caliber, folks. There's buck, here's ball. Buck and ball. Da -da. So, we actually found Civil War relics yesterday. It all started digging marbles. There's two wheat backs in there. And these are not Civil War relics, but this is how it started. We were looking for these things, guys, right here. And then, da da. So, this is my I am blessed. I pulled this afterwards, and it was covered with mud. And I said, I believe that's a Civil War button. And then I started picking up all this metal stuff. So, anyways, these were the two things we dug yesterday. This was dug actually in my, actually in my backyard, a few feet out my back door. And we pulled this beautiful stunner yesterday. I spotted it. My wife pulled it, and I, I believe the back of this is like granite, and it's all humped up because they probably couldn't get it off there. These are the exact same materials, I'm almost certain of it, folks. So, I, I told you I was going to step it up. These are all the Civil War relics that have been collected from my backyard here, guys. So, I, I hope you appreciate this, because this is your heritage, your history, whether you're proud of how we acted shooting at each other, yeehaw, whatever. You're here in America, and you're a citizen, you're here legally, you got the right to be proud of whatever you want, and I'll support it. I might not agree with it, but I'll support your right to do whatever you want until you start bothering me and infringing on my rights. And then we're going to go back to being at the other side of the creek and throwing things at each other again. So, anyhow, that's a different story, but this is uh, awesome stuff, guys, and... You know, you too can go find this stuff. And I actually left one of these. I was just telling my better half this morning that that right there, folks. I left one of those yesterday thinking it was just an old bent nail. And I get home and I'm going back through my official Civil War relics. And I pull up some stuff. I don't collect Civil I totally appreciate this stuff. And I'm blessed finding it. Don't get me wrong. But this isn't what I go out to find. I was just blessed with finding this. So, um... It, for me being blessed with finding it, I'm going to share it with you guys, and uh, you gave me your time, so I hope you appreciate this stuff, because your freedom to view it today, somebody could have gave their life up for it back then, it just goes to show, once again, that we never get along with each other, but back to this guy, you know, this was, this was one of my earlier uh, artifact pulls from my own property that started really getting me into archaeology and digging and looking for stuff, and I, I want to show you when I was a kid, I used to go hunting with my uncle. He's the one that really got me into this stuff. And one of the neat things that I have done, uh, you guys, is this right here. So uh, when I was a child, I was, we didn't have the smartphones, whatever. So check this point out, guys. Do you see how cool this one is? Look at this one. What's with that, huh? So then you can come over here and I'll give you another one. Look at that craziness. What? Here's that same material. So what tribe did this one here? Because, you know, uh-oh, what? There's 80s JV Weld on there, folks. What is that? Yeah, this is my handiwork. I found that these were all separate pieces. My uncle and I, we would always walk the fields. Nobody taught us about creek bank walking or none of that. And he would no, go nowhere near the water. He almost drowned when he was a kid, so... He would, like, I would get close to the creek and he would grab my arm, get back. But we would walk the fields. And these were the broken ones I found as a kid. And I would match them up and put masking tape around them and JB weld them together just so I could have something cool. And uh, I even had an even bigger, nicer one, but I got it taken away from me by the principal in school for having it in school, like a weapon or something back in the day, and lost it. So, 
Anyhow, he probably put it in his collection, and uh, I want to show you this stunner here. We're going to see if the camera will zoom in on it for you. I'm going to try to hold real still, guys. Can you see that, what that says? That, folks, says 1802. That's a Indian head penny. My better half pulled. I told you she found two wheat backs. And she pulled this yesterday out of the bank with all this other stuff. Folks, so this is all just super old, old stuff. So, I hope you appreciate this. And, uh, you know, get along with your neighbors. Don't be some fucking dickweed. Oops, I said the bad word. I dropped an F-bomb. Very sorry, folks. Don't, But just don't shoot at your neighbors, you know. That deserves an F-bomb. If you're shooting at your neighbors, you deserve that. And I apologize for it, but don't shoot your neighbors. So, anyhow, have a great day. Later, guys. Enjoy my relics.